What's up, Rockstar? Welcome to your Power Core Express class. I'm Coach Nisha, and so excited to have you joining me today. So this is gonna be a super quick class. We're gonna be working our core in all of its facets, and it's only gonna be about 45 or 30 seconds each move, four moves to this circuit, repeated three times. Not too shabby, right? So the only equipment you're gonna to need today is just some space to move and an optional elevated surface, like a chair, an automatic couch, just something sturdy um, for an optional modification for some moves. All right, so with that said, we're gonna jump right into this. I'm just going to show you really quick where we're gonna start and then I'll get our timer going so we don't miss any sweet work in there. So you're gonna maybe standing in the middle of your mat. Your core is braced. There's a tiny tuck to that pelvis to help with bracing the core around your entire midsection. And you're gonna take those hands up and behind your head, not pulling on your neck, just lightly touching elbows out wide so you can feel yourself engaging between your shoulder blades as you're standing here nice and strong. Now you're gonna take that, let me start the timer. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna take that right elbow and cross it over to tap that left knee, other side, and then we're gonna do side side, so right elbow to right knee, and then left elbow to left knee, and then just keep that up. So cross, cross, side, side, awesome. I want you to really think of driving the knee up to meet your elbow instead of bringing your elbow down to meet your knee. Really focus this into your obliques, Woo, and stand nice and tall through that supporting leg. You're doing great. Whew, keep that chest up nice and tall. It's okay if you get a little mixed up with the coordination here. We're done in five, four, three, two, one. Finish up that side if you're not quite there. Awesome, so we're gonna move on to our next move, which is a knee jump in. Now, if you're not feeling high impact today, your option today, would be some slow mountain climbers. So let me show you that. So optional, you can use your elevated surface or you can meet me in a high plank down on your mat. You're gonna take your hands just underneath your shoulder blades, pardon me, underneath your shoulders. <laughs> your gaze is neutral, your back is flat, your legs are nice and strong, and you're pressing away through those palms. Now if you're doing low impact, you're gonna alternate, driving those knees in, staying nice, and steady through those arms, not shifting forwards and backwards. Keep everything strong and just use your core to drive those knees in. If you're doing knee jump-ins, you can meet me down on the mat. You can also do this on your elevated surface, but mine's not too sturdy, so I'm not gonna try that on there. So the way that's gonna look is you meet me in that tall plank, and you're just gonna jump those feet in, knees pulling in towards your chest, and jump back. And just keep doing that over and over. Trying your best not to get too much a lift of your bum into the air. So we're not wanting this, even though it is pretty fun. <laughs> it's like a little, little handstand prep, but really try and keep everything close to the ground. So you're controlling this with your core. Amazing work. And last three, two, one. Well done. That was a doozy on the arms too, wasn't it? Okay, our next move, I told you we're just gonna power right through this. So meet me on your mat. We're gonna be on our backs. And this is gonna be a leg raise to a toe reach. So meet me on your back. Your core is braced with a little tuck to your pelvis so that your lower back is making gentle contact with the mat. And you wanna maintain this contact the whole time you're doing this move. That's what's really gonna make you work that core and give you that strength and tone that we're looking for, right? So, go ahead and you can take your hands and you can support your neck with it if you like. Or you can take your hands, arms out long beside your head. And you're going to extend out those legs and then reach it all up. Reach those arms towards your legs, reaching the shoulders off the mat as well. And my lower back is never losing contact with the mat. Awesome. Now, if you find that your lower back is coming off the mat or you're really struggling with this, you can always bend those knees and just bring the bent knees up instead tapping your toes in the mat. Because the longer your legs are, the more weight your core has to support. And it's gonna make your lower back lift off the mat, put more strain into your lower back, and you'll lose all of that excellent core work. 
amazing work. Keep it up. And last three, two, one. Well done. When you're done, you can gently roll on over or you can just hike yourself up like I did. I didn't even think about it. Okay, so our next move, you're welcome to have a sip of water with me here or whenever you like. This is your workout. I'm just guiding you. Always feel free to pause the video if you need a little more rest. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our side plank with a hip dip. And you are welcome to get into a side plank on your palm or on your elbow. So if you're on your elbow, you're gonna take that left elbow, we're gonna start on our left side, left elbow's directly underneath that right, left shoulder, and look at the difference between when I let my shoulder collapse, how I'm just falling into that, a lot of pressure is happening in my shoulder here, versus pressing that palm into the mat, pressing away through that shoulder, and you'll feel your lats engage, you'll feel your back engage to keep you nice and steady. So you wanna maintain this strength throughout the entire move. Same if you're in your palm, same if you are on your palm. So nice and strong, this is a very important foundation for this move. All right, so legs are gonna be nice and stacked. You can also have this bottom leg bent for a little bit easier of an option here. I'll show you that one first. So go ahead and join me, let's get started on this. So pressing away through the shoulder, go ahead and let that hip dip and then come back up. Use the power of those obliques to really press away from that mat. Awesome, now if you have your legs long, that works too, just keep those hips stacked over one another. We don't want it shifting backwards or forwards. Keep it nice and lifted and just let it lower and go back up, awesome. You'll notice a much larger movement, more noticeable movement if you're on your palm versus your elbow, but they're both super effective. Just really focus on feeling that oblique working for you. I can feel mine burning. And last three, two, one, let's switch sides. So other side, whether you're on your elbow or your palm or even your fist, do whatever supports your body. Meet me in that tall plank position, side plank position. Shoulder is nice and active. Bottom knee can be down. And there you go, lift it up. Hips are remaining stacked. You can keep your hand here at your hip to help feel if it's starting to shift backwards or if it's starting to fall forwards. We don't want that because then we're taking away that work from your obliques. And there's a little tiny tuck to your pelvis here as well. And that's gonna help you to engage through your core as well. Lots of little tips. And last two, one, awesome. Feeling that burn? Well done. So that was our circuit. We're gonna do that twice more and you are done. Let you go for the day. Feeling good. Okay, so meet me back. Standing for those cross, cross, side, sides. Starting a strong foundation. So little tuck to that pelvis. That core is already braced. You're standing tall. Hands are touching your head, not pulling on it, never pulling on your neck. And here we go. We're gonna cross it, cross it, side, side. Awesome, keep it up. If you get a little extra one move in there, that's totally fine. Just keep moving, keep paying attention to keeping your chest elevated, you're standing tall through that leg that's supporting you as you lift the other and using your core to power this movement. Awesome work. I don't remember what I just did. There we go, just keep it going. <laughs> Blossom all the time. So good. And last five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. On to those knee jump-ins. Take the low impact, take the high impact. Or alternate between the two, whatever you need. So nice tall plank. Here we go, let's do it. Jump them in, using that core to drive this movement, trying not to allow your shoulders to end up ahead of your palms. You're keeping that steady by pressing away through those palms, staying strong in your back, 
so that you have this nice foundation and you can really give your core a run for 20. And last three, two, one. Well done. <laughs> Leg brace and toe reach, let's do it. Knee on your back, get that core brace, lower up to the pelvis, lower back making gentle contact. And here we go. Straight legs or bent legs. They both work great. Really reach with those straight legs if you have them straight. When you come down, you'll notice how much that integrates the rest of your body with your core. It's super cool. So close. And take it slow if you like. You can take a little pause in between. Just make sure you're lifting those shoulders off the mat as well as moving your legs. It's gonna help you to get your entire abdominals involved here. And last three, two, one. Well done. All right, onto those side plank hip dips. So meet me in your position. I'm gonna do it on my palm this time, see how I feel. So set yourself up nice and strong. Get that palm spread out wide. Shoulder is engaged. Nice and strong here as you're in this tall plank. And your hips are stacked. And here we go. Lower those hips. Drive it up. Well done. <laughs> Keep that breath flowing. Don't allow your shoulder to collapse as you come down. You see that? Not good. Keep it strong. You're only moving your hips here. Double check. Are your hips still stacked? Is an arch forming in your spine? Is your butt falling backwards? Create a straight line with your body and keep it up. You can also always just hold a side plank if that is working for you today. And last one second, done. Switch sides. So spread out that palm, get yourself nice and steady or your elbow, of course, and get into that tall plank. Again, you can always drop this bottom knee and drop the hip, lift it. Awesome. Core is strong. Don't let your rib cage flare out either. You want to keep this nice and tight, just like you were powering through those leg raises to the toe reaches. Awesome. Press away through that bottom foot, especially if you have your legs long like this. You can stagger your feet as well. That's going to help you. Lots of options here. And last three, two, one. Amazing. All right, one more quick sip of water. We'll get to that one more time. We're all set. You are crushing this. Okay. You ready to finish? Let's do this. So meet me standing, <clears throat> getting right into those cross, cross, side, sides. <sighs> nice and tall, core brace, rib cage in, hands touching your head. And here we go. We're going to cross, cross, side, side. Awesome. Cross, cross, side, side. <sighs> Definitely helps to keep going in the proper, <laughs> quote unquote, proper order if you say that. Cross, cross, side, side. Cross, cross, side, side. Awesome work. We're almost there. Check in that your core is staying nice and strong. That you're standing nice and tall. You're not pulling on your neck. Last 10 seconds. So good. Cross, cross, side, side, and done in two, one. Well done. Knee jump-ins or slow mountain climbers for the last time. Here we go, nice tall plank. Set it up, let's do it. Jump it in, press away through those palms, evenly through those fingers. You don't want all of your weight on the heels of your palms. That's gonna put unnecessary pressure on your wrists. So good. Try your best to land lightly. I just noticed I was making a lot of noise. The last five, four, three, two, one. 
Amazing. Last time, bar and leg raise to toe reach. Catch our breath a little here. All right, you ready? Here we go, meet you on your back. Get that core braced, lower back, making contact. Reach it out, bring it up. You don't have to touch your toes. You can also bend your knees just a tiny bit as you bring it up. You're just really focusing on pulling this in. And keeping that lower back on the mat. So good. Halfway there. Check in on your breath. You can also support your neck the whole time. Just make sure you're still lifting those shoulders. Woo! But don't pull on your neck. And last five, four, three, two, one. Well done. All right. Really quick breather. And let's get into those side plank hip dips. All right, set yourself up. Palm or your wrist or your, not your wrist, your elbow. Got a hair in my eye. All right, everything's happening over here. Set yourself up nice and strong. Tall plank. Get to it. You can keep that arm up. If you are really reached with that hand, you'll notice not only is that gonna keep you strong in this bottom arm and engaged between those shoulder blades, but it's also going to help you to really isolate this to those obliques. And last four, three, two, one. Amazing. Let's switch sides. Set it up nice and strong with that palm or elbow underneath that shoulder. Stack those legs. Put down that kickstand knee if you need. And here you go. Keep those hips stacked. This side I have a little harder time. So I'm gonna keep my hand on my hip to remind myself to keep those hip bones stacked on top of each other and really work through the proper muscles and stay strong through the shoulder. Now I tried this way. Always switch it up if need be. And last three, two, one. Woo! So, so well done. Wow. Give yourself a high five. Pat yourself in the back. Do all the self congratulation. That was great. Super quick. Nice burner. Got a little bit of sweat going. Solid. All right. Well, thank you so much for showing up for yourself today. And I look so forward to seeing you next time.